Did you know that Evgen enables you to turn any Class 1 through 4 used or new gas or diesel engine trucks into an all-electric truck? Our system can convert any type of truck into an all-electric truck, while keeping 98% of the OEM parts? Here's how. Open the hood. The first steps is to remove the IC engine. Just disconnect the plugs and sensors from the engine and tuck them away into a safe place on the truck. None of the existing OEM wires are cut or removed. Next, remove the gas tank and the fuel lines. Remember to unplug the electrical connections and leave them in a secure place on the truck. Now remove the entire exhaust system. Unplug any electrical connections and leave them in a safe place on the truck. Once the engine block and exhaust system have been removed, install the electric motor assembly, EMA, to the existing OEM engine mount block. Then, connect the EMA to the existing OEM bolts on the transmission housing. Next, reconnect the OEM water and air pump lines to the air and water port inlets and outlets on the EMA. Close the hood and connect five low voltage wires to the OEM cab throttle pedal and key switch per instructions. Install the bed rails to the truck, which will raise the depth of the bed approximately four inches. Install the battery modules by bolting them to the bed as per instructions. Slide the new subfloor over the battery modules. Raising the height of the bed rails creates more room or truck storage space than before. There is no need to sacrifice any bed space to the battery pack. Now you can drive an electric truck with no special training, no special parts, at highway speeds, while transporting max payloads or towing max capacity. Enjoy your fully electric vehicle with Evgen. Learn more on evgen.com or type Evgen in here. For all you naysayers, everyone says this can't be done. I know these electric trucks and vans they got out right now don't go up hills. They can't pull trailers fully loaded like this. Remember, this is 425 volts. It's not the full 725. So I'm running about half the power on this thing. There you go. We got a full load. So we're up to almost 60. This is a kit that installs in less than a day. So you can see this is a 2007 F-150. Got the big tires on it. Come back around over here. This one's not done yet, but uh, when we get it done, it's gonna look real good. So this is our battery pack. And 
what I want to do is show you the hood. So let's go take a look at the hood. All right, here's the hood, just as I promised, but I think you're gonna like even more what's underneath the hood. What we've got here is all OEM parts, except for our controller. And if you look way down in here, you're gonna see that that is actually an electric motor. This truck probably has about 500 miles on it already. We've been doing some testing. But as you can see, this is the OEM um, compressor for the air conditioner. That's the OEM alternator. And these are the actual OEM brackets right here. The only thing you see uh, that we made is the one bracket here and the battery box. Everything else is OEM. So you can get all your parts at Napa or Ford. You can get your containers, you can get your compressors, you can get your ABS braking system, brakes, transmission, the OEM transmission still in here. But let me show you some. Hold on one second, I'm gonna cut this on because it cuts on just like a real gas engine. Come around here. What it does is it stays on idle. Now we'll go back up to the front. And you're gonna see that it stays on idle. Your alternator is charging your house battery. Your compressor works. It stays on idle. Everything works the same. You got a cooling system here. These filters can be cleaned with water and that sends air to the electric motor, so this thing never really overheats or anything. So what we're gonna do now is do it for a ride. So let's jump. I've got the stick shift right here. I've got the ignition key. I've got a little uh, energy gauge here. Um, air airbags, I don't really touch anything inside. There's two wires that go inside the ignition, turns it on, and then when I hit the spring, it actually turns the electric motor around. We're going to go in reverse. This is a little bit more powerful than a gas engine. So here we go. Hold on. Watch both ways. Like I said, it's a little bit faster than a V6. Uh, this truck will get about between 60 and 80 miles per charge, depending on how fast you drive or how hard you drive it. here. You see we're up to about 50 miles an hour right now. We've got bigger tires on it so when it says 50 we're actually doing between 55 and 60. If you have an automatic version we just don't put the throw out bearing and you don't have to shift gears. Uh, it works perfect just like on the bus. The bus is a automatic as well so when we uh, drive that we're not shifting our own gears like we are here. So we can build a kit for any version, whether it's a stick shift or a automatic. And of course, the automatics are a lot easier, but as you can see, we're going about 40 miles an hour. Got to about, add about five to eight miles to that. Only about half throttle. As you can see, we're picking up speed pretty good. So we're only hitting about 200 to 300 amps. We're almost doing 70 miles an hour if you look in front of us. We're really cooking it right now. I'm going to hit the brakes because remember, we got all OEM, all ABS. Everything's bolted down securely. I could go over this bump right here if I want to. It's not going to affect the truck. I'm going to pull in here kind of hard. I like to be rough with it so I can show how rugged this system is. You cannot break the system. Come in. Okay, now what we're gonna do is check the temperature. I just drove this thing pretty hard. I'm gonna take this temperature gun and we're gonna go look at everything. I can smell the brakes a little bit. I was a little hard on it, but as you can see, our alternator still nice and cool. 87, let's go to our controller. It's still 78. Let's go down to our motor. Our motor got up to about 93. That was it. That's because we have a nice cooling system on here. The system is engineered to build and built so it does not overheat. That is the number one enemy. You don't want to overheat your controller, your motor, anything on this vehicle. And with the battery packs we've designed into it, this thing will last you forever.